The unexpected is what we like to create. When you come into the house, you're immediately surprised. Suddenly you're in an environment that you almost forget that you're in London. The upside down nature of the house was very much a response to the site itself. You just couldn't get the capacity of living space if you did anything else. And in order to give the house a sense of connection with both external and internal spaces, was to push all of the ancillary spaces, the bedroom spaces, into the basement, then connect them very carefully through the use of light wells and spaces. Very important when you enter a house to have what we like to think of as a destination view. If it stops abruptly when you enter it, that changes the whole psychology of the house. It means, you know, the house breathes and it connects with the outside. Whilst the outside spaces are small, they've been very carefully considered, very carefully planted, so that each view from each space has a slightly different dynamic. When you're sitting in a space, actually there's something quite wonderful about just having the garden at sort of almost table level. It's very important for a building to have longevity. Longevity both in terms of its design and its materials. That's the greatest asset a building can give, the, the environment. It gives it that greater sense of quality and being. So the materials are very carefully selected. In this context, the you know, was to work with reclaimed brick and to work with a, a weathered timber so that the building sort of blend again um, and weathers gently and ages gracefully from the polished concrete floor to the spine wall on the stair and the ceiling. And that's reflecting the actual construction of the building. Uh, they are the core elements, we're not dressing them. That is the building. And so it brings that robustness internally and then you balance that with carefully chosen textures uh, from the stone to the timber. We're keeping other palettes very simple. So you set up a canvas. Core was a, you know, it was part of that selected, again, materials that weather as well, because we picked it up on the front door and you know, in the kitchen. And so it appears through the house in varying degrees, and that creates a connection. Even the framework of the, the sink stand in the master bathroom is core The bath is also core So there's a language there. You know, understanding materials is part of the craft. You know, we work very closely with the stonemasons in the selection of the stone and how the stone is actually considered, the placement, how it relates, in order to get the picture. Staircase was a challenge. I wanted the stair to sort of float in the space, and so we structured it so it had very minimal connections with the actual sidewall. For me, the greatest reward is for someone to enjoy one of our homes. You know, a house is such an important part of someone's life. And we are temporary custodians of the houses that we occupy. Spaces alter the quality of people's lives.